Okay, I think I've got my focus working again. Hurrah. Hi, how are you? Let's have a little talksy walk, see over here, my love. Jeez, people are having a bath again. Uh, what Rosa means is they're in the cold <laughs> Atlantic Ocean, they are swimming. This water is so cold, Rosa somehow manages to just jump into it. When we were at the missions in Mozambique, you know, surprisingly for a country that's so hot that when it comes to having a shower, that water is so freezing cold. Oh my goodness. And Rosa just dives into that water. She takes a breath and just steps into it. Me, I'm like, I've got to first put my foot in, then I've got to do put my hands in. And I've got to splash a little bit on me, then I'm like, you know, when that cold water just runs down your bum cheeks, it's like, oh, shit. What? That's cold, man, that's cold. Woo! Especially when it hits the chest and goes down the tummy, and then, you know, hits all the happy places. The happy places go, no, and it just pulls closer into your body. You start feeling like a sumo wrestler. Let's look out into the sun. More meaningful. Yes, laugh so people think we're rich. <laughs> Yeah, this is what rich life is like, guys. Chilling on beaches. We're gonna go jump into a fucking infinity pool. There it is over there. I reckon a humble living is very fulfilling. That rhymes. You get all the ups and the downs. Every single moment is just a lesson that gives you the opportunity to choose what to take from it. That's humble living. And choose wisely. Because humble living just might get you closer to enlightenment and realization that Money is just a commodity that helps you to get convenience in life, but it doesn't buy happiness. Sitting on the beach, it doesn't really cost anything. It's nice to just park off and look. Or what say you? Humble living is very fulfilling. And believe it or not, I'm not just saying that. I've had the money in the bank account, and I've not had the money in the bank account. And I can honestly say, the happiest times that I've ever had was when I never had money. It's quite interesting, eh? In the times where I did have money, I didn't really feel fulfilled, which is quite strange. Thought having gadgets, buying things, but shortly after having that stuff, it just seemed like, eh, it's not serving a purpose anymore. And that kind of raises the question of, well, what purpose do you need to fulfill? I think it's different for everybody, you know? I reckon, you know, having a, a goal to achieve a certain way of life. That's all grand and whatnot, I, I support that. It, even can, it can even be you want to be rich, go for it, you know. There's lots of awesome adventures. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's another little Trevor in the moment. Yeah, I think it was... you cannot use that footage. I'm going to use that footage. No, no way. That's a beautiful footage with you just sitting over there and while I'm talking. I have the support of my beautiful wife. I talk so much rubbish. And she just takes it and listens to me. She doesn't complain. Sometimes she tells me to shut up. Sometimes she smacks me. My wife beats me. That's but I'm humble, I'm humble. I take it, you know. That's a lie. Okay, it's a lie. She doesn't beat me. Now, expectation is merely just the wanting of an attempt to calculate a future reality to be true. An expectation will never be met unless you actually acknowledge the power of appreciation and gratitude. And so it's in this place of power within yourself where disappointment will never conquer the soul or the spirit.